What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off, we had worked on a catwalk situation for Betsy. Um, I've since changed it, as you can see, because um, somebody in the comments mentioned um, moving the whole crane from side to side type of thing, like. Um, rotating it and I got thinking about it and I remember in the last episode I had mentioned well I couldn't do that because then it would turn into the ship but I got thinking what if I turned it outward um, so I've since redesigned it this way to where I put a control cockpit over here that's not assembled yet um, but you could access it and tell it to turn and then it would rotate out this way I'll just have to make sure there's enough clearance uh, that that doesn't break anything and I also have to make sure that um, the ship itself that the landing gears are still hovering ever so slightly because otherwise if I put it right on the ground this is too high and it won't uh, connect but otherwise it seems to work fairly well um, or I mean as far as getting in and out, I haven't actually tried the turning part because the motor's not completed. Um, I could do that, though. I did have enough parts. Oh, and I'm still suffering from that slow motion thing. As you can see, I'm, like, running all slow. Uh, if any of you have a fix for that, I would appreciate knowing what it is. Because it's rather irritating. How do I get out of here? Uh, rotor. Everything I need? I think so. Let's get our welder going. So yeah, I don't really know what's causing that. It's it's not really like a frame rate issue, because everything else seems to work okay. It's just the... See, like, you can see the sparks and stuff are flying out. It's roughly about 20 frames, something like that, which when I've got a lot going on, that's all I can seem to get out of um, Space Engineers. But it's... I don't know. It's just like when you run, it's like you're in the matrix and it's all slow motion. Um, now, unfortunately, I need to get this guy going too if I want to test this. Oh, and I guess it would also be important to have power, wouldn't it? I don't have any power on this thing. Oh, that was another thing. Um, in the last episode I did, it was an update for the conveyor belt type system that they have now. Um, and I forgot to mention that one of the cool things about it was the fact that you could uh, use it to refuel your ships and stuff. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, and I do actually want to make a small drilling ship uh, with that functionality that has like a conveyor system that I can dock with maybe Betsy or something, I don't know, and use the refinery and all that. We don't know. What do I need for this? Motors, computer, and I think the display? Was that what I was missing? I don't have any motors. I do have displays. I don't have any computers. So let's see. Now I'm not doing too bad. I'll need a gravity generator around here somewhere, too. Two motors. I got the display and the construction... So, motors and computers. That's all I need. Let's see what I've got to work with. I really should probably work on the landing gears, actually, but I want to test and make sure this um, ramp system works before that. Okay, so... Production. I need hundred of these, which is a lot. I'm just gonna do some mad mouse clicking. We have ten. What is that gonna put us at? Fifteen. Twenty. That's ninety. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna need more gold and two motors. 
Alright, gold. Do I have any more gold in any of these other ships, is the question. Probably should look over in this guy. He's got the most... Hey, the conveyor system would now work. That'd be cool. What I'll probably do is strip this and replace it with a uh, hopper or collector or whatever they're calling it. Um, and I'll probably rework this whole system here. Platinum, magnesium, iron plates. Wait, can I get to all these now? No, but it does have gold. One of them has gold. This one has gold. Awesome. Awesome sauce. It's always good to check whatever other ships you have laying around before you do anything. Especially since I don't actually have really like a driller type. Okay. Now how's my uranium doing? 5.4. Not bad. Not too bad at the moment. So I'm pretty much just waiting on all that. Um, let's grab this and I'll go ahead and stall them while it's making the others. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting started with a kind of shuttle-ish type situation. Oh, really? Oh, it did put him in there. Okay. I was like, you won't let me put him in there while there's... Well, I don't have motors. Okay, and let's uh, take the time. I'm about halfway down. Let's charge our suit while we're waiting. Um, ironically, I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched, but, uh, oh, right, as I said that, I was gonna say I haven't seen a, another ship in a while, and boom, there's another ship. Oh, and I guess we can put this stuff back for now. You can do it! You can do it! Oh, I'm in the crate. I was like, why can't I take that? Now it makes sense. How much gold is left in here? I want. That's the other thing. See that? Right here? Now it's fine. And right there is like slow motion. Wow, there's still a lot of gold. So whenever this is done... Oh, it is done. So let's go ahead and just take this out. Because we really don't need it. I'll go ahead and put um, that in the assembler. And that can go in there. Give me my motors. Did I get them? I did not get them. Give me. There we go. I'm going to laugh if at one point... Like, I'm doing all this other stuff on the back side of the asteroid, and then at one point, I've been back here for so long that all of a sudden, I'll go out and realize that, like, the, uh... There's, like, a very thin layer of asteroid left, and it's almost completely destroyed. That'd be kind of funny. Okay, so that's step two. Step three is going to be a nuclear reactor to power this, because I have no power. Charging, utility, gyroscope, thrusters, missing... Wait, did I build this as a new ship or a new station? I thought I put it down as a station. Maybe it's just because I'm using a thing. Can we do this? Probably won't go anywhere. Besides the fact that I need to actually check and see which way it's supposed to go. So that's 180. And that. What is it? Zero. So it's probably at around 270. Right? Come on. Let me use the computer. Oh, I guess you have to get in it. Uh, current angle is zero. Okay, so I want it to go from zero. Upper limit is 180. Or no. 
No, hold on. Get out of there. If I only want it to turn 90 degrees... Then I need it to go... to 270... but without going all the way around. So... I'm probably going to botch this up horribly, but since we don't have any power, I can mess with it a little bit. So what I need is the lower limit to be negative 270. We're close enough. And the upper limit to be zero. Current angle is negative five. Come on. Ah, okay. And then you would put a negative spin on it. Yeah, you can see that it's kind of moved already. That didn't damage it, did it? Oh, there's nothing to it. Okay. So, yeah, put a negative 270 on the lower limit, and then if you had a negative velocity, it should turn this way, and then you would put a positive on it, it turns this way, and it stops at zero. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it would work. So, what do I need for a reactor? A small one. Just a small one. A lot of reactor components, six motors, 25 computers. I probably have the construction components in steel. Let's check. I can turn these off. I have 14. I have the steel plates, I know that. Do we need interior grids at all? I need four metal grids. Okay, so that's a project that I'll work on in the mean t in the in the interim. For now, though, I kind of want to work on designing a new. Um, actually, I probably won't need all these. I'm just going to do something simple. A new um, small ship for drilling. For drilling purposes, that'll use the conveyor system. Um, because I want to be able... Let's go out here, just somewhere with a little bit more room. Because uh, I want to be able to drill and then drop off stuff. Um, new small ship. Sure. Ah, I need a construction opponent. I need a construction opponent. Put a ninja down. <laughs> oh, and I have an idea for the for uh, Betsy here too, but then every time I come up with an idea for that, um, I kind of think to myself, well, I might not be using Betsy, I might be using the Mark II. So, um, actually, let's just do ten of these. And thrusters need... Construction components, so I'll need, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least, if nothing else. Okay. And I probably won't finish the design or anything, but, um, I'd like to just kind of work on it and just work it out kind of thing. Okay, so that's the ship. That's where it's going to go. And in truth, once we start building this, I will probably just get rid of the landing gear itself. Um, because I really am not sure... I think I'm going to use Bumble D2 to dock with them, or this guy. So I'm not really sure if we'll need a landing gear, but I don't know yet. Um, can I... Put you somewhere? Oh no, I bumped it. Crap, don't do that. Don't bump the ship. Um, for now, actually, I think I might just put this directly on top. Why is it still moving? I didn't bump that one. Alright. Stop moving. God. 
gosh. And I want to build this way so I can see what I'm doing for once in my life. No movement? No movement. Good. Thank you. Jimmy Cricket. Okay. So we got that. Um, can I not put a drill there? I always want to do that and I don't think I can. No, I don't think it'll let me. Okay. So... What do we want to do? I've got to keep an eye out for the the thruster issue of being able to hurt hurt itself kind of thing. Oh, I need the tubes for thrusters. Dang it. Fudge sickles. Um, do I have any of those? The small tubes. Can we make those? Yes, we can. Alright, there we go. Okay. Okay, so. Don't bump it. We need one like this. And maybe... Actually, you know what? Let's let's do more more than minimalist because the last time I built one, um, it didn't end up having like nearly enough mass to hold the thing in place. So let's just do. Can I put one there? No, because of this guy. So let's just go ahead and get rid of him for now. I really don't think I'm going to use a landing gear, at least not right now. Do that. Put that there. Um, and then possibly put this one under here. Uh, we'll need a gyro, so let's go ahead and throw that under here, if I can find it. We'll also need a reactor. Um, let's do a flippity flip. You're not flipping the way you're supposed to flip. Why are you not... Why are you... What are you doing? You stupid thing. Flip. What the heck, man? Right there. Go there. Okay, and then we'll put a block here. Now, can we put this here? I hope it doesn't damage it, but we'll go ahead and put that there. And we've got the front and the back thrusters fixed for now. Let's do... Side ones, so forward and backward, side to side. Now we need up and down. Let's do down. Up like that. We'll put the reactor here. Now what I'm going to do is face it no, oh, that might not be a good idea, actually. Hmm. Let's actually put it up here. Oh, and let's get rid of that. Put... We can use this back area for the conveyor part. What I'm going to do is put the reactor here, and I'm going to turn it this way. And so, that way there's no direct, um, ooh, no, I got a better idea. Let's put reactor here, and then where's a collector? Wow, well, is it going to be that big for a small ship? What the heck? Uh, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> um, I was expecting, you know, a small ship, maybe. Why can't I place that? 
Okay, well that's not what I was planning on. So maybe I will have to put it up here. If I put that there, the port was at the center, so that's not going to pump into anything. That's not going to work. That could work. That's still huge, though, for what I wanted. Although I should only need one collector now that I'm thinking about it, so that might work out okay. Now, let's do... Uh, where's the connectors? Are these going to be huge also? Oh, no, they're not. Weird. Can we put these on the side? Oh, I'm out of steel plates. We can fix that. I didn't bump that, did I? Okay, good. Um, a little disoriented. There you are. I was like, where'd she go? Okay, I should have plenty more over here for now. Okay, so let's see if it'll let me do this, because this would be kind of cool. Oh, it will. Awesome. So let's put one on each side, and that'll let us eject stuff from the drill out. And then... You know what? You know what I'm thinking? I might change this a bit. I really don't want to bump this. Can I break this one without it? Okay, good. It did work. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put the backward thruster in like this. And then let's put these on the outside. Oh, except this one's going to be... Hmm. That's... Oh, I got it. Let's get rid of that one. And put you like that. It kind of looks a little derpy, but I don't really know of a better way. The, the problem is the upward one, because it's going to be thrusting into pretty much whatever's above it. Um, so if we're putting all the thrusters down here, it's kind of always going to be in the way. Which is kind of the problem. So... We could do that... I think that'll all be okay. I don't really like the side derpiness of that. Although, I don't know that a thruster can hurt itself. Now that I'm thinking about it. So what I'm going to do is tentatively... Why can't I put you there again, exactly? Uh, I bumped it, didn't I? Crap, well, why won't it let me put it there? Well, I guess it has to go back here then. Okay. Um, here's a question. Did I put... There should be two ports. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so... Actually, let's see. I'm gonna do... Put this one back here, maybe. I don't know. I can't figure it out. The, it's the OCD-ness of myself. Oh my. Um, there you are. Yeah, it's my OCD type thing that gets in my way that I'm kind of like, well, this doesn't look symmetrical and blah blah blah. That's the biggest problem that I have. Um... So, yeah, I don't really know how else to do that system, really. Um, I 
think that looks better. But you've still got the downward one over on this side, which is kind of weird. And it still means that I can't really put anything back here. That's the big problem I'm having with this thruster. Is the, like, not being able to put anything around it kind of thing. Um... So, I did all this, did this, got that. I'm thinking just cargo crates from that point. To just store extra materials or whatever if we wanted to. And then this will also give it some extra... Uh, mass. And I can always, we can always play around with this later as far as adding um, conveyors or something to it to where it can hook up to other things. But that way we could drill and then pull up like alongside one of these guys and uh, dump it type of thing. Um, speaking of dumping, where where you be? You're over here. So let's let's take this guy apart. And I'm gonna put a, a collector or a hopper, as I like to call them, in its place. Since these are now kind of functional. Um, and that way that you can like pull up and actually drop things off on this guy. So anyways, made some tweaks, did some stuff. I think that's going to about wrap it up for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you next time. Peace!